The UK Young Engineers of the Year 2017 are in the house. Let's go and meet them. David Sanka, Hello. congratulations. Hi, thank you very much. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, we're doing very well, thank you. We're very excited that we've been able to come out again today and show off our product. So last night at the awards ceremony, uh, did you expect your names to be kind of announced? What do you reckon, Sanka? How did it go? Uh, no, it felt like 20 minutes ago, actually. And <laughs> I didn't entirely. It was a complete shock. Uh, that, that's the whole part of it. I'm so excited, thrilled, and just sort of calmed down a bit after. But yeah, it's still buzzing here. And Are I you just on this experience. whirlwind journey? What's what's been happening since last night? Well, since last night, we held up our fellow teams till about 9:30. Getting back tonight, we did. Last night, we actually did a radio interview then. And then today we went to the mailbox in Birmingham and we did a couple more radio interviews so they'll be coming out later in the day today. Great, and, nice. Uh, they went really well and it's really exciting actually. We've been caught up in it a little bit but we've loved every minute of it. Like, it's been amazing. Brilliant. Well, I've heard a lot about this. Lots of people saying, oh my God, you have to see the Medivest. It's such a cool bit of kit. And obviously you've been crowned the UK Young Engineers for this project. So, take me through it. So basically the Medivest is a wearable epilepsy prediction device yep. that monitors heart rate variability and temp body temperature to effectively predict an attack up to eight minutes prior to it occurring and at uh, up to an 80% um, success rate. Was you know, is there someone in the family or, or, or you know what, what led you to do this? Our main inspiration was actually from Sanka. He's got a really brilliant story about how he saw someone actually have an epileptic fit. And well, for me personally, my dad actually has epilepsy, so he has to take pills every single day to deal with it. And even now, he he grew he's grown out of it, but he still lives in that little bit of fear that one day when he's driving or when he's out to, at work, that he might have an attack. So we really wanted to help out not only people that we know, but people all across the country and possibly all across the world. Amazing. So many young kids out there have so many ideas, so many beliefs, and they want to change the world. There's so many here. And uh, hopefully we can act as an example uh, for them to see that they can turn their drawings with the right resource, with the right time, into something like this, and something that they can really help someone else with. And that's, if, if we don't even take this any further, as long as someone does that, I'm happy. I think we should leave it there. That's quite a, um, a deep and uh, selfless uh, idea to end on. And it kind of encapsulates a reason that you boys are clearly top of your game at the engineering, at the ideas. You've thought of something that's going to help a big group of people. You've brought it to fruition and you want to inspire the next generation. I mean, I see why you have been crowned the Young <laughs> Engineers of the Year. Um, it's going to be a really interesting year, I guess. Yep, yeah, definitely. We've finished, got our GCSEs in less than two months. Wow. And then after that, we're straight on back with the, with the uh, work. Cool. Well, I'm sure we will see you over the coming year. I'm sure we'll see you at Big Bang 2018 uh, and, and learn more about your journey. Thank you so much. A real Thank pleasure to meet much. you. Thank you, Sanka. Thank you, Thank you Dave. Oh, cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up. Cover it up.